Jacobson are the assistant coaches. As we look at the starting lineups, brought to you by the Ontario Airport. The Ontario Airport, a proud sponsor of Big West Basketball. There they are for Portland State, Kirby Allen, Satterfield Woods, Saunders. And we'll get you the Gauchos here as they tip the ball off. Josh Pierre-Louis, the star from Plainfield, New Jersey. Cole Anderson, Belich in the starting lineup. Johan Traore and Ariel Bland for UCSB as we're underway. Portland State wins the tip. They move from our right to left. We're going to hear from OJ after every timeout tonight. We look forward to it. And Jason, nice, nice drive to the bucket right there, and he got him in there deep. And that was Kirby who missed. Right. And the Gauchos have the rebound, and here's Josh Pierre-Louis who will run the point for UCSB tonight. Want to say hi to Josh's family watching in Plainfield, New Jersey, and Josh tried to say hello to him there. He missed the shot, and Kirby the rebound for Portland State. Here's Allen, a three, and that's too hard, and the rebound comes down to Balich for UCSB. Portland State is coached by Jace Coburn in his third year. And now a turnover, and the other way is Saunders. He misses, but Kirby's there to pick it up. And Kirby scores to make it two to nothing. And uh, Pierre-Louis was hurt on that drive. He got hit, and his hand went numb. His teeth, actually, A.B.'s teeth. So I think he's... I guess out of it now, and our freshman has come in there. Jason Fontanet will take his place, and Cole Anderson will have to run the offense as A.J. is not playing tonight. Jason Fontanet, 6'6", freshman, 190-pounder from Phoenix, went to Bella Vista College Prep, and the Gauchos get it back here. Here's Cole Anderson. Anderson, one of the best shooters in the country, will run the point for the Gauchos, and Cole, looking to get open instead, goes to Bland. Got to come meet the ball. There is Traore getting a touch, and now here is Belich. Down low to Traore, muscles it up and in, and we're tied at two in front of this very large crowd. Josh is coming back. I think he got hit again on that, uh, that funny bone in the elbow. Portland State, 18 on the shot clock. And that's a forced shot that didn't have a chance by Allen. And a tie up here, look out. As Bland and Munson tied up there and on the jump ball possession, it'll be the Gauchos. Look at it again, coach. That's the former, the transfer from Texas Tech who was in the rebound position and asserting himself at 6'6 and about 250 pounds. Matia Belich, another player from last season for the Gauchos, 6'7", 205 pounder from Belgrade, Serbia, has got the ball. Now they go left side, there's Anderson, and he misses here, tipped up by Traore, but uh, uh -oh, Traore got a foul. Yohan was over the back. Yeah, he came on top of a block out and got his first foul, but if you're gonna get fouls, that's a good way to get them, going for the offensive boards. I don't think coaches will ever be upset with guys that are fighting to get offensive rebounds. So here is Kirby now being guarded by Josh Pierre-Louis. Good to see Josh back in the game. Way out top was Woods with it. Now Woods has it back. On There's the a screen on the ball. And Woods lost the ball. Out of bounds. Gauchos will get it on the turnover. Jerry, they do a lot of picks on the ball with the ball involved. And uh, on defense, when our picks outside were on the ball, they'll switch them. They do a lot of switching. 2-2 our score, 17-30 left first half. Anderson, baseline right. Cole is such a good passer, and he makes the pass down low to Bland, the 6'7", 230-pound junior from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, and it's 4-2 Gauchos. Good pass from uh, Cole to get that bucket for Ariel in deep. Here's Allen. He is a big guy out yes, there on the perimeter, is. isn't he? Uh-oh. Pass the ball down the boards. And it's Munson. Ooh. That's going to be against the Gauchos. Good help there that time for the Gauchos, but a foul coming that's over the top. Traore, that's his second. Yep, that's not good. So 
So Munson will shoot two free throws. The opener for Portland State saw them win on the road at Air Force, 62 to 55. And in that game, Munson was one for two at the line. So he'll have two here. And he makes it to make it four to three. Bobby Harvey and Isaiah Johnson have come in for Portland State. Harvey is a 6'4", 205 pound senior from Chicago. And Isaiah Johnson is a 6'6", 225-pound junior from Torrance, California. And Caputa is in for the Gauchos in place of Johan. So Evans Caputo in there. Evans wears number 12, 6'8", 250-pounder from Kenya. And he's got the ball on the right block. Spins toward the baseline. Can't get past the good defense of Munson. And now they score. Caputo stuck with it, Coach. And he makes it 6-3. Yeah, he's good jump hooks left and right in there deep with his back to basket. Belich getting ready to come back for Joe Pasternak's Gauchos. Here's a turnaround jumper, and that gets the roll for Kendall Munson. He's a good scorer with his back to the basket, too. Anderson, a jumper from the right is no good. And the rebound is pulled down by Jarrell Satterfield. Ten points in that win over Air Force for Satterfield. Here is Johnson on a hard drive, and he scores to put Portland State up 7-6. to six. The other direction, there's Josh Pierre-Louis, and it's blocked out of bounds by Munson. Good play. Good push of the ball by Josh Pierre. Ishmael Habib, six foot, 175 pounder from Chicago, is into the game for the uh, Portland State Vikings. And for the Gauchos, Belich is back. Real good drive that last time down by Portland State to get to the bucket. There is Josh, now to Fontenet. They love Jason Fontenet the second. On top is Bland. 15 on the shot clock, still plenty of time. Nice pass by Pierre-Louis to Bland, down low. Here is Caputo forcing it, and I think he traveled. He did. Yeah, he did. Well, this Gaucho team is just absolutely loaded, and we're going to have a timeout here. Media timeout, 15.46 left to go as you look at the travel there. 7-6, to six, Portland State will be back after this. And get the group to get, uh, going. Definitely need Johan, uh, you know, with two fouls to, to stay with it because, uh, you know, we're going to have a – he's going to be, be one of the focal points for this game. Thank you, O.J. Orlando Johnson, the great Gaucho, the all-time leading scorer here for UC Santa Barbara. The Gauchos on defense now. There's that pick and roll out on top. And there's a long two put up by Bobby Harvey. No good. Gauchos with the board and the other direction with Bellich. Joe Pasternak yelling, move, move. Pierre-Louis on the right side to Anderson, who's back in. Three on the way, back rim no good. Cole is 0 for 3. Belich had that one deflect off his face to Satterfield. And here's Satterfield with a 3, and that's good the other direction. Good shooter. He's a guy that uh, they've got to pick up on the open court. He can look for the shot. Very good three-point shooter. Portland State now one out of two from three. Here is Capruto with the left hand. Nice play by Evans. He's got four. Good move with his left hand. He can do left and right jumpers with his back to the basket. There's the pick and roll again, Jerry. And here's Satterfield trying to break that pick and roll, coach, to Harvey. No, so nothing came off the pick and roll there. Not that time. There's another one. Another one. And a drive by Satterfield. The floater no good. Capruto battling for the board. It goes off of Satterfield. Out of bounds to UCSB. There is a phenomenal crowd here at the Thunderdome for Joe Pasternak's Gauchos and the Portland State Vikings. There's Joe. And Joe, Joe is one of the absolute best coaches in the country, bar none. In the six years he has been here, he has won 20 games five times and the one time he didn't they won 17 games yep yeah he's done a really good job here in the time that he's been here and won the conference last year there's a good drive by pierre passing it off okay open right. jump shot okay i got you right. 
Find that with the jumper. Gauchos lead it 11 to 10. And inside is Johnson, no good with a hook and over the back. Should be Portland State here. That uh, should be an over the back. And it is, and will come the other way. Inadvertent there. I think he's okay. It looks like uh, Mattia is, Belich is okay. That foul coach was on Trevon Minot. That's his first. Belich says, wow, this is tough over here. Not used to this. He's from Serbia. (laughs) (laughs) No, he's a good kid, and he works hard. Good roll-off pass. Another jumper. Continent. Tipped out. Here is Henderson. Henderson down the lane. Anderson draws contact. Can't get it to go, but he'll be on the line for two. Nice play by Cole Anderson. Yeah, it was good penetration. Uh, And this year, under the new guidelines that they're giving officials, the defense now has to get both feet set before the guy takes off. If he's already in the air and you're moving one foot, that's going to be a blocking foul, and they're really emphasizing that in the country uh, this year, which kind of clears up things for the driving player. It's good for the offense. If you go off and you have a drive and somebody doesn't move under you, that's that's a good rule, I think, and a good emphasis change. Hunter Woods comes back for Portland State. Harvey goes out. And Ariel Bland back for the Gauchos. Bland will play the four spot, we call it the four spot. It's uh, the big forward. And, of course, uh, in there deep, Evan, Evans will play the five spot. Gauchos with the 13 to 10 lead here. 13 23 left first half. Man to man defense. Both teams have played. There's a nice cut. Satterfield. Good looking shot. Jumper is good. Satterfield he, makes it. He's a good scorer. He can shoot it. You can't let him get the ball and get into his shot in that area. Satterfield has five points. And the Gauchos lead it by one. Here is Josh Pierre Louis down in traffic. Great pass to Bland. Couldn't Uh-oh. get it to go, Too but bad. he'll get two free throws. Nice pass. He got in the air. Fortunately, uh, he saw A.B. before he landed. <laughs> That's on Ishmael Habib. That foul. What a pass by Josh Pierre-Louis. So Bland will shoot two free throws for UCSB. And the first one rolls off. Little side spin on that one. He's been working real hard this summer on uh, all of his shots, both jump shots and free throws. The Vikings, as the second one goes through, the Vikings coach are welcoming back eight players from last year's roster while they're adding four new faces. So that's a that's a good veteran core coming back. Yeah, they won their first game on the road at Air Force. Uh, so they're a proven team. Look at the shots. Satterfield is asserting himself as the shooter. Oops. Here is Pierre Louis, and coach wanted to foul that time. Coburn wanted to foul, didn't get it. Here is Josh Capruto way out now to Anderson. Cole dancing around, gets it to Capruto. Capruto's got four points, trying to, for more, and he's off the mark. Ball tipped out. Last touch by UC Santa Barbara. The, uh, the Portland State coach is active. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you think? I think he's on every one of the calls so far. Hasn't gone his way. Boy, I tell you what, I love watching Josh Pierre-Louis who goes to the bench here, but he is so fluid out there. And he does get the ball in deep into the paint. And when he stays under control, Jerry, he's a very good passer also. Oh, yeah. Hayden Curtis is coming on. He's a big man for Portland State. 6'11", 220-pound junior from North Bend, Washington. And he's a transfer, actually, from Portland University. Here's Habib in the front court being guarded by Fontenet. They're running a wide offense, so they can fake and drive. And the layup is no good, but a whistle against UC Santa Barbara. For a big guy, he moves pretty well, doesn't he, Jerry? Yeah, he certainly does. 6'5 is all he is, but he weighs 250 pounds. 
That's on Ariel Bland, another media timeout. When we return, we'll hear from OJ. It is UCSB 14, Portland State 12. We're back after this. Um, both teams are getting more comfortable with with their sets. Uh, what the Gauchos need to continue to do is get the ball inside. Uh, Caputo's got four points off his back-to-the-basket move. And uh, for Portland State, they just got to keep getting the ball moving from side to side. OJ, I like the way Caputo's playing, don't you? Yeah, I definitely like the way he's playing. He's strong, and he's, uh, he's being a force, uh, something that we need from our bigs. Thank you to Orlando Johnson. OJ, as Allen makes the first free throw. Makes them both. He's a good shooter. Transfer from Texas Tech. KJ's first two points of the night. 14-14 our score. Here is Josh Pierre-Louis. Gets by his man. Goes up. And that one was contested beautifully by Curtis, but it comes down to Bland. And the Gauchos turn it over. Stay on the floor. Can't jump in the air and pass. You got to jump to rebound, jump to shoot, but stay on the floor to pass. Nice play by Curtis on the block. Two nice drives by Josh. He hasn't been able to find the hoop, but they've been switching bigger guys on him. It's uh -oh. not a, it's, that is a Gaucho turnover. It was not a turnover before. That was my error, but the Gauchos do turn it over. Here's Kirby. Kirby pushing off. Got away with it. Missed it. And this one goes out off of off of UCSB. Off of Josh, I guess. He is trying to take Josh to the basket. Josh has stayed in front pretty well, done a pretty good job of, of defending, but he's getting letting him get in there a little too deep where he can shoot over him. Bellich comes out, Fontenet comes back in for UCSB. Out of bounds, play sideline. Tried to get a, a lob inside, didn't work. There's the pick and the roll. Kirby. And a long three on the way is off the mark by Woods. And the Gauchos have it. Here comes Josh Pierre-Louis up into the front court to Anderson. And Bland yep. is fouled by Curtis. Yeah, he was behind I him. I checked that. Not Bland, a big part. That's Treori back in there who was yep. fouled. I'm sorry, Coach. That's all right. Treori is back in with two fouls. And the pass was going to him. The defender was on the wrong side of the post with the ball outside the free throw line extended. Um, defenders have to play the high side of that. That's the fourth foul on Portland State. The Gauchos have three. Treori on top. Anderson now. And that's yep. a reach-in foul called on Jarrell Satterfield. They're doing a good job on Anderson. They know he can shoot, and they're not letting him get set with his feet. But... Uh, after the whistle, he did make that one. Of course, it doesn't count. Tied at 14 here with 10.55 left first half. Glad you could join us on ESPN Plus. Jerry Fall, legendary coach Jerry Pym, and UCSB's all-time leading scorer, O.J. Orlando Johnson with us, and there's a travel called inside on Treori. Whoa. Too many mistakes, huh? We're making turnovers. That's what, our fourth? That would be four. Yep. Portland State is a very athletic team. They all drive the ball well. They all face the bucket and shoot it well. And this one down on the low block. It's Allen fading away. Not a very high percentage shot. And it comes well, to Jason Fontenet for the Gauchos. I don't think that's going to go for Portland State much. Maybe he got away with that at Texas, but... Oh, look at Caprudo, and oh, then Curtis nice comes up with his second block. Very nice block. block. Very nice. That's Curtis's second block of the game. He blocked Josh Pierre-Louis a few moments ago, and now here's the pass Offense. to Woods, and it's a Portland State goal. They count the bucket? I think so. Nope, they no, did two, two shots. shots. Two shots. Again, it's that same emphasis on the defender. Looked like an offensive foul, but the defender's feet were still moving, so it's going to be a block this year. So the defensive the college kids are going to have to get that through their head, I think, on uh, getting set if you're going to try to draw a charge. 
it's different now this year. Woods first trip to the line. Hunter, 6'6", 200 pounder from Pasadena, California. Transfer from Elon. Okay, the basket did count. Oh, they are going to count it now. And one shot. You know, I think, Coach, it, it's the right call. It looked like continuation as uh, yes. Bruno comes out. Yes, if it was a charge. And under the old rule, it might have been a charge. But this, this year, it's going to be a block because their feet aren't set. So Woods with one free throw switches it, and Portland State leads by three. Full court pressure. Just clear and let Josh bring it up. The guy, the guy shouldn't be able to stay in front of him. And here's Josh down the lane. Puts it up. Scores it. Great play by Josh Pierre-Louis. Yeah, that guy has no chance of staying in front of Josh. That's Hunter Woods, and boy, that's an unenviable position to be in, isn't it? Here's Kirby, and that shot blocked from behind by Bland, and taken away by Ariel. 6'7", Junior from Minnesota, Golden State prep transfer, and the Gauchos turned it over. And, and Josh knows he's got to stop, jump stop to make that pass. You can't do it on the run. The defense was going that way. He has been doing that real well in the, in the fall practices, but that time did not make the right play. Capruto comes back for UCSP. Munson back for Portland State. Traore goes off for the Gauchos. One point game here with uh, just under 10 minutes to go. It's Bobby Harvey to Habib on top between the circles. They start their offense way out, trying to get the, the defense to move out that far. So Cole Farrell in there, and he'll try the jumper in the yeah. lane, and that's good. So it's Cole Farrell with a jumper, his first two points. Coach Pasternak calling out a play. 19-16, Vikings with the lead over the Gauchos. Anderson to the baseline, cut off, good defense by Munson. Boy, Munson is all over him, and Munson strips the ball. It's loose on the floor. Caputo being tied up by Munson. And Johnson, and I think this is a Portland State possession. It is. Boy, that was outstanding defense by well, Kendall it's, Munson. It's good. Both teams were on the floor, loose balls. That's what you're supposed to do, dive on the floor. Get after it. The only thing you're going to hurt is your elbows. Sometimes if you stand up and people are diving around you, you can get hurt. But this was all guys on the floor. That was good to see. Matia Belic back on for UCSP. And Anderson goes to the bench. Here's Farrell who scored the last two points. Both teams defending well here's harvey on a drive put it up no good what a rebound there by ariel bland he went ariel he sure did fontanet tries to tie it and can't get the bounce out of bounds back to portland state a little quick on that shot but i think the ball should have been reversed Speaking from a coaching standpoint, you get down, you go to the right side, you want to get to the left side, back to the right. You want to get some reversals to open up the passing lanes and open up the driving lanes. So moving to the ball is what usually happens when you get reversals. You get good open lanes to the basket. Cole back in for UCSP, and Josh goes to the bench. So Anderson for Pierre-Louis. Coach Coburn is right in front of us. <laughs> Here's Habib, and that one blocked from behind by Fontenet. Taken down by Anderson. Great play by Jason Fontenet. Anderson, as the Portland bench yells, shooter, draws contact, goes down hard, and he's slow to get up. Uh oh. Is he all right? Boy, Pasternak, Pasternak is furious. And Joe goes over to see how Cole is doing. And Joe helped to his feet. 
He's telling. Elbow, it's his elbow. Yeah, he's, I think he was saying, I'm all right. He went down hard as you look at yeah, this great did. crowd. Yeah, he did. Pretty physical game on those drives. It they, is. Portland State contests those. Is, but I think the biggest thing for us is to continue to attack the basket, continue to live at the free throw line. Um, you know, we're one for six from the three. Um, the shots are going to fall, but just continue to get the ball inside and play inside out. And, O.J., that timeout proved to be very uh, valuable for Cole Anderson, who's back in shooting free throws. Yeah, he didn't get hurt. He was uh, he was knocked down. His right elbow hit the floor first. A little red, you can see it. But uh, that's going to happen. This is going to be a physical game, and both teams are taking it to the basket hard. Cole makes them both a one-point game. Now watch for the pick and roll out here on top. They went away from it that time, and they're screening away. There's the pick, and there's the roll. And there's that the long, long shot jump by shot. Harvey. And Ariel Bland rips the rebound away. The Portland State bench wanted travel. Ariel so strong. Here's Anderson. Reverse it. Get it reversed. Bland goes down hard. Here is Pierre Louis. Bland and Habib both went down. Josh drives in. And that is going to be a two shot foul for Josh Pierre Louis. Again, if you notice, and we get some replays on this, you can see the way the, the officials are calling that this year is that the guy who's in defending and coming over to draw the charge needs to be stationary with both feet. And they are really staying with that ruling in all the college games that I've watched so far this year. And Josh knocks the first one down. That foul on Munson is his second, so he'll come out. And coming back in is Hayden Curtis, 6'11", 220-pound man from North Bend, Washington. A big lefty. Good outside shooter, Jerry, for 6'10", 6'11", outside shooter. Josh makes them both. And the Gauchos lead it 20-19 to in a good ball game so far. Crowd chanting defense is Habib, guarded by Pierre-Louis. Screen on the ball. And that's Curtis setting the screen. And Open a, in the corner is Farrell, and instead he drives baseline and banks it in. But that was a result of the screen on the ball yeah. and the help, and then throwing it across the top. So they've got to guard that with two people. You can't get that third guy involved. You can practice coach defending that as much as you want. Here's Anderson for three. Got it. You can practice as much as you want, but in the game, as you know better than anybody, it can be so much more different. Yeah, it is because you can skip pass it across for that jump shot. Yep. 23-21 Gauchos. Here's Harvey. And that is another long three, and this one's good. And Anderson went under that one. He didn't go over the top of the screen. And jump shooters that can shoot, they're going to stop and shoot that one. Portland State back up by a point. Here is Anderson off of a screen by Caprudo. That's no good. And the rebound pulled down by Ishmael Habib for Portland State. Uh -oh. And Habib all the way lays it up and in. And Coach Pasternak not happy about that. No help from our big guys. Our big guys didn't see that. Caputo has to slide over and help when our, when our outside players get beat on the drive. Last year, the Vikings were one of the best teams when it came to fast break points as... Uh, Caprudo rebounds this one for the Gauchos. They averaged 15.1 fast break points per game. That was ninth in the country. Josh going to the oh, bucket. Oh, what a move by Louise. Yeah. Yeah, Josh they, Pierre Louise. They have trouble staying in front of him. Gauchos got to get tough defensively now. The big guy's got to help. Very good drive by, uh, by Portland State on that last one. That was Habib. Habib is a yes. very good penetrator puts it on the floor and can shoot yes he can well, there he it is just drain the three junior and, college transfer and portland state with its biggest lead of the game by four here's anderson going in hard that one blocked by curtis and they're going to call a foul on curtis and the portland state bench does not like it i don't think he likes any calls to be honest he might be a frustrated official i gotta be honest with you that looked like it was all ball 
but the Gauchos will take it. And there is Coach Jason Colburn talking to the official, and Cole makes the free throw. Anderson is three for three from the line tonight. He's rotating eight or nine players like he did at Air Force, keeping everybody fresh, keeping everybody working hard on defense. Uh, both of these teams are very well coached. Satterfield back, might not back for Portland State. Also back for Portland State is KJ Allen and Kirby in there. Portland State lead is two. 4.44 left to go. There's Here's another driving uh, lane. Kirby lays it up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bland. And here comes Josh Pierre-Louis up the floor with it. Anderson out top. Oh, Bland was open. Anderson pulls up for a long two, and that's off the back rim, no good. Rebound is knocked toward the corner and picked up by Bobby Harvey. Here comes Portland State the other way. That wasn't a good shot for Anderson. The other ones he's taken have been, but that one was forced a little bit. Here's Harvey on the baseline. Now they go to Allen. Allen into the paint, spinning, spinning, putting it up and scoring it. KJ uh, Allen. Driving the ball to the bucket. They're very athletic and they drive it on you. No help on the defense that time. Excellent drive. Portland Staters, Anderson. And that's a three, and that's good for Cole Anderson. And that was an open shot. The difference between that one and the last one. That one was open. 31-30, Portland State lead is one. This is Harvey being guarded by Belich. They're all looking to drive it. Now on top is Kirby. Yep. Out on the right wing is Satterfield. They've got to watch him. He'll shoot all night. Here's Allen. Bland got out there. Three on the shot clock. And here's a pass down low. Intercepted by Pierre Louis. Here comes Josh behind the back dribble. Josh, a little out of control. Gets it to Belich. Belich traveled. He traveled. Yep. That'll he bring traveled. Us, that'll bring us to immediate timeout. 3.07 left first half. It's a good one. Portland State 31. UCSB 30. We'll hear from OJ after the break. So when they get that, they're one of the best teams in transition, and they showed that from last year, and it's continued to show this year. OJ, what do you think of the play of Ariel Bland? He's been really uh, terrific so far. He's got to be a monster on the boards. I think that's what Coach is looking for, for him to continue to do, to be uh, one of those guys that's just a glue guy and, and does everything. Thank you, OJ. We'll hear from you at halftime. And this one is a turnover, Coach, by Portland State. Yep. Forced, forced a little bit, but a bad read by the... Uh, the Portland State player, I, th- I think that he plays nine guys, and three of them can play the point, to be honest. So they have a they have some advantage at that point position with their uh, being able to add up two or three guys that guard to guard him, and they still can't guard him. <laughs> and there is Josh Superman. All right, Gauchos by one, 32-31, under three minutes to play here in the first half. Coach Coburn watching with his arms crossed right in front of us. Here's Satterfield. That was good help that time, and he got back. Now you got to see the ball, though, Bland. Yep. And there's Allen on the baseline. K.J. spinning, likes that paint, and he puts it up. No good, but he's fouled on the play by Bland. No, check it. It's not Bland. It'll be, uh, he said 21, but Traore, no, it's on on Caprudo. Okay, 12. On 12? Okay. And that's Evans first. Johnson, Habib, Kirby getting ready to come back for Portland State. Minot comes off. He's doing, uh, he's rotating those eight or nine guys that played over at Air Force, doing a good job of sharing the minutes and getting people to play at different positions. Allen's second is good. He's got a nice touch. He does for a big man. For a big a, guy, yep. Real yep. nice touch, Coach. 33-32, Portland State, 224 left here in the first half. Again, we want to thank 
Jeff and Judy Henley for their generous donation that made it possible to get end zone seats, chair back seats. There's a turnover, and this is the other way. This may be showtime for Satterfield. It is. Josh didn't sprint. Josh has got to get back and sprint after that ball. Fontenet on the baseline, got by his man. Back out, here is Belich. He can hit from there, he does. We are tied at 35 with a minute 48 to go. Belich is a good shooter facing the bucket. Johnson, boy, coach wanted, Coburn wanted a foul. He wants fouls every time. I agree with you, coach. <laughs> Here's Cole Anderson now to Pierre-Louis. To Fontenet on top. Fontenet going against Satterfield. Caputo with it, way out. He'll reverse set a screen. It. Get it reversed. Stayed on that left side the whole time. Now they get it reversed. Eight on the shot clock. Fontenet looks up at the shot clock. Now backs up. He'll fire a contested three, and that's short. And it's loose on the floor, and Belich comes down with it. And the, uh, they're going to have to adjust this. The, uh, the horn went off. It hit the rim. It hit the rim, signaling the shot clock violation. But it, uh, two, and tell him he shouldn't be out there playing. But he is. Nobody's saying anything. It's okay. <laughs> Coach Jerry Pim, our fashion designer. <laughs> 35 all with a buck nine to go here in the first half. Cole, what a move. He's open on the baseline. That's what Cole Anderson does. One of the best in the country at that. Good a play. Great outside shooter. The Gauchos by two. Joe got that play going with a little pick screen coming back by Josh. Very nice to get him open on the baseline. Good defense by the Gauchos. That pick and roll has been tough because they're very active in that pick and roll. Allen. Allen's going to use his big backside. And he scores and gets fouled yep. by Belich. Yeah. He does, he does have good power. Ariel Bland was going to check in, but Coach Pasternak uh, called him back to the bench. So with 42 seconds to go, that's the sixth team foul on the Gauchos. Portland State has nine, and Allen is back at the free throw line. And, and I can report that Tommy Nunes did get Belich to tuck his shirt in. All right. Allen with the free throw. Good. He's three for three from the line tonight, and Portland State up. All right, 40 seconds, 37. two possessions left. See what the Gauchos are trying to do here. It's Fontenet with it, out of Belich. Reverse the ball, good. Dribble drive. Here is Anderson kicking it back. And Pierre-Louis, a three is good from the corner. That's good. That's good. Josh has worked on his outside shot in the offseason, and it just showed. Yes, he did. He worked hard this summer. All right, last possession for Portland. Down by two. They're going to get that ball and drive it. You can see that. They're trying to There's set it up here with a pick. And drive it. Good help by Belich. And Habib gets right by, lays it up. No good. Slam dunk follow by Johnson just before the buzzer sounded. And that will end the... At driving the ball and uh, the point guard, when he comes back in, he is really good. I like I like him. It's, it's Habib. And uh, well, they don't start Habib in the second half. So the Gauchos have it moving from right to left here in the second half. In a tie game, it has been an exciting game to this point. Here's Anderson, and they know all about Cole's outside shooting ability. Belich. Too much dribbling right now. The ball was over on the right side the whole time. We didn't get it reversed. And here it again. It goes back to the right side. Five There's on the pick shot and clock. Roll. And here's Josh hanging in the air. And it's a turnover, and they get it back. Let's see. Are they going to call that a Portland State possession? Nope, they're going to say it's a shot clock violation. If that was a Portland State possession, then the Gauchos had a steal there. But it's a shot clock I, violation. I think they're going to look at this. I, I, I'm not sure that that wasn't a loose ball. They're going to look at this. Yeah. 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 He got possession. He got possession, then yeah. threw it away. I think Nunes is right here. He got the ball, put, passed it out, and we intercepted it. I believe it was a possession. He had both hands on the ball. Yep. Yeah. That was the a good Portland call State by Nunes. Upset. Uh, yeah. That was the right call. Well, that's what I thought, Coach. I yep. thought. Yep, it was the right call. 
So the Gauchos will inbound from underneath. The shot clock was running down. That's why uh, Josh had to do something with the ball. And Anderson gets no. his pocket picked yeah. that time by K.J. Allen. And nearly a turnover. Here's Allen going in, and he went up with the left hand, missed it off the front rim, rebound Gauchos. Here comes Josh. Josh leaves it for Bland. Layup, Gauchos yeah. by two. Good pass by Josh. Good recognition by Josh to getting that ball. And, and filling the lanes was uh, Ariel. That was good. Pick and roll again. Josh That's a got good beat. pick by Allen. Josh and Kirby. got beat, and he quit on it. And Kirby and makes the layup. That screen. 42-42. Good He's drive by get Kirby. through that screen. Yep. Good drive by Kirby. Excellent drive. And now Bland on top. Ariel goes to the baseline right, cut off there by Munson. And now back at, to Josh Pierre-Louis. Bounce pass, and that's knocked away and stolen by Isaiah Kirby. Kirby up the floor, leads it for Munson, a slam dunk. And Josh, it's 44 42. Cannot contest that ball in the backcourt. Just turn and sprint. Good play by Portland to get that ball up the court. Here's Belich being guarded way out on top by Woods. Now they go to Treori. The Auburn transfer tries to tie the game. Can't land the rebound. And here's Belich on the weak side. Now back to Josh Pierre-Louis spinning from the free throw line. How about that step through? Wow. Good move. Good footwork. Now let's see if we can defend, Gauchos. Portland's a very tough team to defend because they all can fake and drive the ball. 44 all. Vikings in the front court with it. Munson backing down Traore, and then he yep. puts the baby hook up and in. He's got to keep him out of that area. Don't let him come into that area. And Josh able to collect it. Throws it down low to Traore. Puts it up and scores. Nice pass. Good recognition. Defense has got to pick it up, though. They're going to win this thing on the defensive end. Here's Kirby now. Picks up his dribble on top. 17-02 left to go here in the game. In Turn regulation. In face and go on him. That was good help by Anderson that time. And here's help. Woods. Woods driving in and scores, but the uh, buzzer went off. I don't think that basket's going to count. No, it's a foul, actually. They're yeah, calling, he fouled him. They're calling a foul on Bland. Was it on Bland? Yep, right there. Right there with both arms up and under. They're a tough team to guard because they do put it on the floor and they're all good athletes. So Josh Pierre-Louis comes out and Fontenet comes back in for UCSB. And Habib is back in again, that point guard. He's going to be a good one, I think. Oops, out of bounds play. Open and shot. And the jumper is good. That's a long two-pointer by Hunter Woods. And Portland State back on top by two. Traore now down low on the left block. Puts it up. Scores. He's fouled. It counts. <laughs> got to get it in. Got to get that ball. Gaucho's got to really feed it into uh, Traore. They he really do, Coach, advantage. don't they? I mean, he is so good down low and so strong. That's the third foul. Bland will come out. Caprudo comes back in. Here comes Josh Pierre-Louis back in. So Josh didn't get much of a rest. Cole Anderson will go to the bench. Cole will not be on the bench very long either. No. I think Joe's going to end up rotating eight or nine this year when they're all healthy. And a good free throw stroke by Johan Traore. And the Gauchos lead it by one, 49-48. Defense now is the key. Keep them on the outside. Don't let them drive by. Good pressure there. Johnson taking on Traore. Puts it up with the left hand. No good. Good defense by Traore. Johnson gets it back. A wild reverse layup, and he draws a foul. Uh -oh. Second shot, though. That's on Johan. That's his chance. third. Yep. That's his third personal. Johan Traore with three. And see, the way it's taught there, Jerry, is that we wall up. This is what the coaches teach. Wall up meaning hands straight up in the air. That way you don't foul. And I thought he did wall up that time, but they've still got him on a foul. Boy, these teams are good free throw shooting teams. Anderson and Bland come back in. Belich 
and Traore go out. So Johan, with his three fouls, goes to the bench. And it's what OJ talked about, Coach, uh, at halftime. Traore could only play six minutes in that first yep. half because of two fouls. Well, now he's back on the bench with three. Yeah, and two of them are by walling up and getting his hands straight in the air. I don't think those, those are not supposed to be called fouls when you wall up like that. Now clear out. They cannot stay in front of Josh. Yep. All right, let's get that ball moving. There's Fontenet now between the circles. Over to Cole Anderson coming off a screen. The three on the way is no nope. good. Curtis boxing out Capruta beautifully for the rebound. Here comes Habib. Coach likes his point guard. Left side is Satterfield. they got to watch him. He'll shoot from the parking lot. He does here and misses. And Josh with the rebound. Good job by... Johnson to get back and now here's Habib the other way here's Habib laying it up and in and it is a 52-49 Portland State lead Josh is playing a position that he's not really accustomed to playing at the point getting back on defense all the time and he's not doing it he's got a cramp in his leg here's Caputo on top get it moving help get it moving now Anderson has it Cole with nine on the shot clock. Good little move. Foul. Up with the left hand. No good. Rebound pulled down by Isaiah Johnson. And here comes Nobody Portland State back. the other way. And Coach may need a timeout. Point guard. He we wants a timeout. Yep. Yep. Biggest lead of the game for Portland State, 54-49. This is a, a full timeout, so we'll take it. The Vikings with the five-point lead, 15-04 left. We'll hear from OJ when we come back. Us, uh, had some costly turnovers uh, this half uh, but the biggest thing is what we keep talking about is the transition they have to be able to get back in and, and stop the ball uh, they're getting way too many easy ba- baskets and that's why they're able to create this the lead that they have all right OJ thank you very much coach Pim uh, Joe Pasternak calling a timeout there didn't really want to he was going to have a media timeout but he burned one there because the Gauchos are going the wrong way here. Right, and you have to do that to slow it down and everything and get a chance to talk to him and maybe get Triari back in the game, even though he's got three fouls, um, and he is back in the game. But A.J. Mitchell is not in the game. He's a point guard. And Ben Stolzberger is, is not in the game, and he is a point guard. So the two point guards that would be getting back on defense and Josh is a three man. He's not a point guard. He's out of position and he's not getting back on defense. So there's a reason why they're getting away on the open court. But still, you got to get back. <laughs> well, I give Josh a lot of credit playing out of position tonight. It's right. it's tough. No, it is. It's tough on him. But he is such a great athlete. The best athlete Joe Pasternak says he's ever coached. Josh Pierre Louis. Here's Fontenet. Oh, he had the elbow jumper if he wanted it. Bland instead. That was a it. jump shot there for, for Bland, too. Here's Traore back in the game, as Coach said. He'll pull up for the 10-footer. No good. Bland inside. Got the rebound. Couldn't get the shot to go, though. And Johnson pulls it down for Portland State. A very good rebound. Good effort by, uh, by Ariel. He just couldn't get it back in the hoop. Curtis with a left-hand jumper. That's off the back rim. No good. Ball knocked around, and it goes to Pierre-Louis. Josh looked like he was grimacing up the court there. Well, he's got a cramp in his leg. Good back cut. Good back cut there by by Fontenet. Traore taking Curtis to the basket. Puts it up. No good, but draws the foul. That's going to be a charging foul. Is it a charge? No, it's Portland State. No, I mean, I mean a uh, uh, not, not a charging foul. It's going to be a defensive foul. Yeah, that's on Hayden under Curtis. the new rules, right? Yeah, it's on Hayden Curtis. That is his right. third personal foul. We'll keep it here during the timeout. Thirteen fifty-three to go here in Utah. So that's your Gaucho schedule. Brought to you by our friends at Logic Monitor. Logic Monitor, a proud sponsor of the UCSB Gauchos. And again, that new rule comes in, and normally that might have been a charge, but it's it's the defense that is not advantaged anymore. The defense has to have both feet set, and the officials are looking at their feet, and if they're moving at all, they're going to call it a block every time. Josh Pierre-Louis leads all scorers with 13 points. 
Ismail Habib and K.J. Allen each have nine for Portland State as Johan Traore will go to the lo- will go to the line here. Johan is one for one from the charity stripe tonight. Oh, and he's one for oh, two oh, now. Oh. He is a good shooter and a good free thrower. He's, he's, he's been all his career, he's been a good free, uh, free thrower and a good jump shooter from 15 feet or so. Cole Anderson comes back for Jason Fontenet. And Uh-oh. he couldn't get either one. The gaucho was a little cold Uh-oh. to start the second half. Needed those two. All right, defense, let's see what we got here. Screen on the ball. Good help by Johan. Here is Habib now on the right Screen side. Screen on the ball. It. Slipped it that time. But and Josh a long did a good oh, jumper nice. on the long way by jumper. Harvey is way off the mark, and the rebound comes down to UCSB. Here comes Josh Pierre Louis up into the front court. Good little crossover move there. Down inside. Bland. Reverse layup is nice. good. Terrific pass by Josh. Good pass from Josh that time. Get the ball inside. Give these big guys a chance to score. 54-51. Portland State by three, and here is a drive by Harvey, and he gets to the basket. Bobby Harvey, 6'4", 205-pound senior from Chicago. Chicago a couple of hours ahead of us, and so his folks back there watching, and they're up a little late tonight, but they had to like that move. That was an excellent drive. He turned the corner and got to the hoop. Anderson, three. That's off the back rim, and the rebound to Habib, the point guard. He'll start it up the floor. Joe Pasternak yelling defensive instructions. Here's Allen. No good. A lot of contact. No foul. Ball knocked out of bounds. And last touch by Portland State. And the Gouchers are not getting back quick enough, and they're outside looking in when the ball is thrown over the top. So they've got to change ends better. Farrell comes back in. Cole Farrell for Portland State. Evans Caputo comes back for the Gauchos. Traore goes out. 56-51. This matches Portland State's biggest lead of the night with 12-30 remaining here in the second half. Fontenet looking inside. There's Anderson on the outside. And here's Josh. Let's see if he drives Six, it to the five. basket. He's got to take it to the hoop. He's got to take it to the hoop. That one hit the rim, and it comes off to Portland State. So here's Cole Farrell, 6'5", 205-pound guard, and a long three on the way. That is off the mark by Habib, and Evans Caputo wraps up the rebound for UCSB. The quick outlet pass to Pierre-Louis. Back to Fontenet. And Jason on a drive, blocked, and it's put back up and a whistle that is going to go against UCSB. And a timeout on the floor, immediate timeout. Coach will. The young guy will learn to jump stop and ball fake that one, and then he'll score. He'll learn it. He's just a 19 year old freshman. 56 51, Portland State. We'll hear from OJ on the other side of the break coming up. We'll take a timeout right now. Like I said, pressuring uh, the Gauchos forcing them to unwanted turnovers and then also just capitalizing it by living in the paint. Right now they're leading the game 34 points to 20 uh, paint uh, paint points. So that's just all off of the transition skills and just getting the ball uh, on the drive to the paint. How do the Gauchos stop that, OJ? They have to do a better job of containing uh, containing them one-on-one. Um, the dribble penetration has been, been key. And I think for the, uh, for the Gauchos to get back in the game, that's going to be their biggest uh biggest issue. Thank you, OJ. Back to the action. Here is Farrell inside. Missed a a close one, and it's pulled down by Ariel Bland. Bland is really an impressive player. The uh, open court stuff that they're getting on us on the break on on the Gauchos is stuff that a point guard can take away. And And we don't have a point guard out there yet. By K.J. Allen. Harvey, three. Good. Yep. 59-51, 59-51, Portland State by eight with Again, 11.05 the early to basket, go. Jerry, the early basket on transition. They're hurting us on transition. The whole Portland State bench erupted on that three. Here's Cole Anderson trying to answer, and that one spun out. Bland the rebound, though, for the Gauchos. Back to Anderson. He'll pull up for a long two, and he got it. 
And a quick timeout, Joe Pasternak, I think it's a 30. Coach Pasternak is calling a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here one more game. And they've got yeah. open shots and open driving lanes early in the offense. And that's what OJ was talking about, Coach. What's interesting now, 10.46 left to go in, in the second half, and Coach Pasternak is down to one timeout. Yep. Portland he, State has three, Coach. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, he's had to use them, though, to stop stop some of the avalanche on these early baskets. Gaucho's down by six. This Portland State team is very impressive looking. Yes, they are. Good athletes. Harvey, good, good on the one-on-one -on -one basketball. Harvey nearly lost that. Here's Allen turning against Traore. And good backdoor help by Pierre-Louis, but it gets away, and that's goaltending on Evans Capruto as oh, Allen got Josh. away from Pot Josh Pierre-Louis. Josh had it. He timed this perfectly. The guy spun back into him, and he couldn't grab the ball, but that was a good opportunity for him to grab it. And there you had a good look at the... Uh, the goaltend there, 61-53. Yep, that was definitely goaltending. It was a ball they shouldn't have gotten back, but they did. It was good hustle by Portland State. Fontenet out on top now. Here's Anderson. He gets by Satterfield. Puts it up. He was looking for contact. Didn't get it. Ball volleyballed around. And it comes down to Portland State. That is Munson corralling it. The big fella down there for the Vikings. That wasn't an open shot. He should have passed. He should have passed that ball. He's wanting to score. He's doing it for the right reason, but he's got to wait for open shots. Harvey, wow. a deep three, and that one rims out. Tipped by Capruto. He tipped it to himself. And here is Pierre-Louis up into the front court for the Gauchos. And oh, he lost it. Turnover. Get back, Josh. And here is Habib the other way. Habib is blocked. But it comes back down to Satterfield, who scores. Uh, Josh has got to get out. Yeah, he's got a bad, uh, it's a uh, cramp or something. He's calling for the trainer. Josh is down. Yeah, it looks like he's cramping up, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. He's been. That was a little brain cramp I think he had there. He didn't change ends, but once you lose the ball, the whole team has to sprint back. And if he couldn't, the cramp probably kept him from... On, on Josh to go out of the game, and he's he's given them everything he's got tonight. Yeah, he is. He's, he's been one of the main guys, main ball handlers out there. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, who's going to pick up that duty if, he, if he's no longer to go. All right, here's Cole Anderson up in the front court. Gauchos trailing by their biggest deficit of the night by 10. 63-53, 9.05 to go. Traore. Oh, look at this move by Traore. Puts it up and scores. That was something. Yeah, very good move by uh, by Johan Traore. He's, he's got skills. He's just got to keep out of foul trouble and keep himself in the game. Good help there by Bland on the screen. Satterfield, he'll shoot it from anywhere. Now he gets by Anderson, lays it up, hit the bottom of the rim, Fontenet the rebound. Here come the Gauchos on the run. Fontenet up into the front court, leaves it right side for Belich. Belich on top, Anderson, open three, got it! That was good ball movement to get the ball to the shooter. Very good ball movement. And your shooter, when he's open, is going to make a lot of those. He is a very good open shooter. 5-0 run by the Gauchos, coach. As Capruto getting ready to come back in, the crowd chanting defense. Johnson getting ready to come back in for Portland State. Habib slipped, stays with the ball. Munson backs up. Now travel. it's a travel on Woods. Yep. Good call. And Pretty good defense by the Gauchos that time. Good help on the drive, and then on the kickout is when he traveled. That was good defense. So the Gauchos with the momentum. They trail by five. 7.59 to go. We'll hear now, but I think with the Gauchos, are starting to find a little momentum. Uh, Fontenet really made a great play in transition by hitting Belly and him able to drive and kick and then find Anderson for a wide open three. It's crazy the energy when you get the ball moving from side to side, how, how shots become a lot easier. OJ, the Gauchos shooting 48% now. 
Portland State shooting 46. Both teams can defend probably a little bit better than they are at this point. Yeah, it all starts with the dribble penetration like we've been talking about the whole game. And uh, I think for the Gauchos, if they can continue to to make them beat them from the outside, they'll have a better chance of getting back in this game with eight minutes to go. Thank you, OJ. Here is Fontenet in the front court, throws it away, but the Gauchos get a fortuitous kick to Bland, who lays it in. 7-0, Gaucho run. Yep. Good spin move. Fortunate play, but a good play. There Our defense is what the home team needs here. Bland with nine points and 12 rebounds. Here is Satterfield, a three. Thought he had it, it's short. Anderson, it's a two on two, now a three on two. Here it is, and a lot of contact, and a blocking foul is called. Yep, it's a blocking foul. This year is a blocking foul. And that's on Satterfield. Yep, and uh, again, the players are gonna have to get used to this. That the advantage is for the offense taking it to the basket. That play is not gonna work anymore, because he's moving against an offensive player that's already taken off. So. Uh, the emphasis is there. Players have to adjust to it. That's Portland State's third foul. The Gauchos only have two fouls. Here is Treori inside, elevates, shoots, and misses. The rebound comes down to Hunter Woods. Forced that one just a little bit. He was out further than he thought. Gauchos trail by three. They were just down by 10 a few moments ago, and a 7 0 run is taking care of that. Here's Satterfield, little jitterbug move, runs well, over his that's man. That's going to be a block also. And that's a block on Bland. Yep. It's going to be that way this year, and uh, players must adjust for it. So Bland with a painful foul. Satterfield will go to the line. There you look at Joe Pasternak uh, talking to Josh Pierre-Louis, who looks like he's going to try to give it a go here with that cramp. I think defenses are going to have to get their hands moving on that instead of trying to draw a charge. Get their hands moving and try to come up with, uh, if you have good position, they're going to have to be more active or it's going to be a wall up. You know, the wall up play could work on that too. Josh Pierre-Louis comes back through UCSB. Kirby comes back through Portland State. Cole Anderson has 19 points for the Gauchos. KJ Allen leads the way with 13. And Satterfield makes one of two. He's got eight points. Okay, let's see what the rest time he had. Let's see what they're going to try to get here. Gauchos trailing by four. 6.53 to go. This is Bland. He'll hand it off to Josh. Yeah. Too far out on the court. Ten seconds. Seven on the shot clock. Here's Belich. He looks up at the shot clock. Belich now has to do something with it. Steps back for an open three to tie it up. He can shoot. And Joe Pasternak has just called his final timeout. Who called that timeout? Josh, or, uh, uh, Joe did. Well, okay. No, I said tied up the game. I, my mistake, I can't. That's it. When he got here from Serbia, yeah. he was doing the, the, you know, the long Euro step stuff and charging all the time. Yeah. Now he's stopping and shooting the jump shot. He's, Keep the game simple. Yeah, he's going to be a good player. He's just playing really for the first time any ma major minutes. Gauchos are shooting 49%, 23 of 47. Portland State coach, 45 and a half percent, 25 of 55. And now the Gauchos trail by just one. This is a nine... A 10 to 1 Santa Barbara run. Here's Kirby with a floater in the paint. Eats the roll, got the roll. Yeah, that was, that was a nice shot. A nice good play. screen. They put a good screen at the top of the key, and he got into about six feet for that shot. It's good offense. Treori on top, couple of dribbles, three dribbles, four dribbles, down in the paint, turns, fires, hits. Oh, they love the guy from Auburn. Gauchos trail by one again, 66-65. There's a screen, and there's the roll, and they get it in deep. And this is Johnson going hard against Bland. Puts it up, no good. Good defense by Bland. Oh, but Belich. the offensive rebound and the putback and the layup is good Belich by Isaiah Johnson. Isaiah Johnson on the layup that time, and a good offensive rebound by Portland State. Bellis didn't block out and didn't go get the ball. It's early, guys. It's the first game of the season. Remember. 
5.30 to go. Gauchos uh, have been knocking on the door for a while here after coming back from a 10-point deficit here in the second half. They trail by three. Move it. Move it. That's it. Oh, and Caputo knocks his man down and then scores. That's again, that's the rule. Now this year, they're not going to give that. Uh-oh. They're did not going to get charges. Did somebody get a technical foul on the Gaucho bench? They did. And Joe Pasternak wants to know who. Who was it? I don't know. Somebody at the end of the bench. Might have been KK. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And now, Coach wants to know. Coach Pasternak is really upset. So it's going to be two shots for Satterfield, and then the Gauchos, and then uh, Portland State will get the ball. So 70 to 67, as Satterfield converts on the technical. Well, that can hurt late in the game. There is coach, and he is fit to be tied. Yeah, they made both free throws, so it's a two-point three-point lead now. And they have the ball. And they get the ball back. They were getting the ball after get it anyway. Yeah, yeah Caputo yeah. made the shot, and they were going to get it. Yeah, I don't know who the technicals on. It doesn't matter. It's no, behind us. The next play is coming up. That's all that matters. I don't think I want to know who the technicals no, on. No, I don't coach. either. <laughs> <laughs> There's Johnson on the drive, and an offensive, offensive foul. foul. Yep. That way they will call regularly both in both the association and in college. If the screener is moving, they're going to call a foul on the screener. And here is the there offensive is foul. Moving Johnson, 22. Fontanet, yep. So the Gauchos trailing by three. Can they tie it with a three? Can they pull it within one with a deuce? Get it moving. Oh, Treori gets by his man, puts it up, no good. Rebound tipped. And a whistle and a foul here. Yep. And this is going to go against Portland State. Yep. Treori That's got, Johnson. Treori got the free throws. Foul on Johnson. Isaiah Johnson picks up the foul. He didn't have good position. That's why he got the foul. He was coming from the side. There you see it. Coming from the side. Yeah. So Treori on the line. Gaucho's down three, and now still down three. Uh -oh. Free throws. K.J. Allen comes back for Portland State. Munson comes to the bench. Boy, Kendall Munson, he is a strong guy from Seattle, Washington. Went to Garfield High School, transferred from Pepperdine to Portland State. And Treori second, and that one needs a roll, didn't get it. And Johnson the rebound. Wow. Missed four free throws. Get back and defend. Bobby Harvey is back in for Portland State as well. Here's Satterfield on a drive. A lot of contact, no whistle, and now a whistle on Evans Caputo. He got Evans up in the air, coach, and once you get him up in the air, yeah. that's it. Yeah, well, you can't rebound when you're coming down quickly like that, but he's got a wall up. He, he did the right thing the first time, and then the second time he, he jumped. So when you jump, you're usually going to foul. So Satterfield with two free throws, misses the first, missed it badly for a good shooter. That was that was off the back rim. And you know that Triori is a very good free thrower. Yes. And he has missed three or four in a row here now. 70 to 67. Gauchos trail by three. They trailed by 10 in this second half. 423 to go. Satterfield second on the way, and that's good. 
See if the Gauchos can get the ball inside on a pass and get a basket inside this time. Let's see what they're doing. Screen on the ball. Pass back to the screener. He's planned. Now left side, they go to Belich. Belich runs over his man, and a blocking foul is called yep. on Portland State. That is team that, foul number six on the Vikings. Yeah, this year that blocking foul is going to be called all the time, and the players are not getting used to it yet. <laughs> he gets two on that, I think. No, they're going to call it on the floor before the shot. Okay, it's out of bounds end line. Out of bounds end line. So Jason to inbound. And he this one deflected to Bland. Bland had it poked away by, from behind by Munson. And now a whistle. And this will go against uh, UCSB. That's Ariel Bland picking up the foul. That's the sixth team foul on the Gauchos and the fourth foul on Bland. Look at it one more time, Coach. Yep. That, that was a foul. He came over the top, fouled him while he's on the floor. He was reaching for the ball and didn't quite get to it. So Evans Capruto coming back on, and Ariel Bland will go out. How many fouls on Ariel? Four. Four huh? Yep, yep. All right, defense has got to show up. Portland's got to look to get a good shot. Good game, actually. Both teams playing hard for the first time in the season. We'll have a media timeout. The next stop at your play, here's Kirby. Kirby spinning away. And now to Johnson on the baseline. Good defense by Capruto, but Johnson gets inside, puts it up, and scores. Well, nice move by Johnson. Very nice. He didn't have position, but he snuck it up there anyway. 73-67, Gauchos trailing by six, and now they... Jumping in the air and passing, you can't do it. Satterfield, got to stay on the floor. Kirby, bounce pass inside, Johnson reverse layup is good. Boy, what a play that time by no Isaiah timeouts. Johnson. No, no timeouts, timeouts for the Gauchos. With it. Players Back to have an eight to point adjust, lead yep. For Portland State. Anderson. Anderson with 19 points, going for more. He's got 21, and now Anderson is down and hurt. He's got cramps. He's also got cramps. And you know what this is caused by, Jerry? We have, the Gauchos have not had a chance to go up and down and drink. And getting into the paint, so if you're not able to take the care of the ball and, and you're not shooting the threes at a high, high enough clip, it's going to be a tough, tough battle. Yeah, it's tough. Josh is a three-man, and he's got a responsibility to take care of the ball, and he has six turnovers at the point yeah. and five assists. Yeah. He's playing his heart out, but yeah. he's just not a point guard. Yeah. And he'll, he'll adjust it depending on how many more games, uh, yep. you know, he, he gets a chance to play at the point. But being in these positions are going to make him better for the long run. Yep, no question. He'll, he'll be a better player for it. And I think when they get themselves healthy, they'll be able to have more rotation of play. Exactly. Now Portland State is outscoring the Gauchos 19 to 8 on turnovers and outscoring UCSB 46 to 26 in the paint. In the paint, yep. That's a lot. Yep. A lot of those are early buckets and driving buckets. 2.40 left to go. Remember, the Gauchos are out of timeouts. So we're going to use the time now a little bit to their advantage. Here's Kirby on a hard drive. Gauchos need a stop. Gets it to Harvey. Harvey puts it up and yep. scores. What a play that was by Kirby and Harvey. Yeah, that's tough. They got in deep on the drive, and then the pass is a short pass. 77-69, 2.18 to go. Move it. And here's a jumper, and that's good by Jason. So Jason Fontenet with the basket. Two minutes to go. Gauchos down six. Six points, two possessions. They got to stop them, though. That's the key now. Stop the drives. Stay down. Kirby stop going him. against Fontenet. Kirby gets by him, puts it up. No good. Rebound. Capruto lost it. And it comes to Johnson, who puts it up. No good. Fontenet the rebound. The Gauchos come up with a stop with a minute 38 to go. 
Again, he tries to draw a charge. That's In the corner is Belich. Leaves it on top. Dangerous pass for Treori. Treori's pass was knocked away. It comes to Belich. Belich on top to Josh Pierre-Louis. Left side, they come to Fontenet. Ten on the shot clock. Ball out of bounds. UCSB maintains the possession with 1.21 to go. And here comes the sharpshooter, Cole Anderson. And Munson comes back for Portland State. Yeah, it looks like a first first game of the year now, doesn't it? <laughs> a lot of turnovers and a lot of plays that are not slick, not timed up yet. Boy, you just hope that technical foul, guys, doesn't come back to haunt the yeah, Gauchos. Yeah, you hope so. You hope so. But they they gotta they gotta understand that they're part of the game. Those guys on the bench are part of the game. Eight on the shot clock, and Belich just got hit in the face. No call. Belich on the drive puts it up short rebound battle for and it comes down to Kirby for Portland State yeah not a good shot he was he was convinced he was connected to the defender that time those are the type of possessions where you got to try to find Cole he's he's your shooter he's the guy that that can really make those type of plays that's that's where you got to get him the ball you got to get the ball to Cole the jump shooter the three-point shooter 50 seconds to go Portland State That'll hurt if it goes. Satterfield, too far, oh. too long. Oh, no block out. And a rebound, and now the Gauchos have to foul, I would think. Yeah, that's tough now. Yeah. I think they've got a foul. Joe is calling for them to foul, and now Fontenet does foul. Yeah. Coach situations, situations. They have not been able to go over these situations yet. You know Pasternak I mean? looked up at the clock and the score there. Yeah, yeah. And didn't like either one. There is coach. Seventh season here with UCSB. Yeah, Belich didn't block out again, and his man got the ball. So Kirby will shoot a one and one for Portland State. And Kirby tonight has not shot a free throw. He die. He has now, and he makes it. Yeah, pretty tough now. 34 seconds. It's going to be a. You never give up, but it's going to be tough. This is a good Portland State club. They're going to win a lot of games, OJ. Oh yeah, they're going to win a lot of games. No, they're tough. I mean, they they have a, a lot of guys who returned from last year, and also adding a few transfer uh, kids through the portal has helped them. And, and you can tell that they're 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 a tough team, and, yeah. and the upperclassmen have very definitely mature. shown that. Yeah, yep. very mature. Cole will there put it go. up. That's what O.J. wanted. This yeah. one long, and that'll do it. I yeah. don't think the Gauchos will foul again. No. no. They shouldn't. Well, they will. Uh, Belich fouls. Belich, yeah. He didn't get the word. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to foul in that situation. It just yeah. gives us two more points. But it, it shows tonight, you know, they had a lot of guys like out of position, like you right. said, Coach. Yeah. And so they were trying to, you know, get a feel. But, you know, there's a lot of good t- takeaways that the Gauchos can have yep. uh, from this that they'll show in film and continue to get better. Yep. You know how that works. The next day they'll see all the mistakes and see how they can get better and yeah. communicate with each other and block yeah. outs here and there. At the early buckets yeah. and the paint buckets yeah. really killed them. Yeah. Right. It's, it's those little things like that. It, taking care of the ball, if, you, if you're able to cut those turnovers right. in half, this is a whole different ball game. Yeah, you get know. a point guard. We'll be fine. Yeah. Get a point guard. 80-71. to 71, Here is Josh Pierre-Louis letting the three go, and that's good. Yeah. Really 14 seconds to go, and Bellich with a quick foul on Habib. Bellich figures three for two, three for two, huh? <laughs> yeah. But I don't know that there's enough time for them to use that math, no. Coach. <laughs> no. Still one and one. We get a rebound here. We push this thing and might be able to get another good look. Yeah. Yeah. Still yeah. a one and one. Yeah. Nine fouls on the Gauchos. No. This, this little point guard is going to be a good one for him, I think. He's yeah. a Juco transfer. Yeah. yeah. He's a quality player. Yeah. He can shoot free throws. He can handle the ball. And he's a good three point shooter. I was really impressed with his decision making. Uh, right. Especially in that first half, he was able to settle them down, yep. get to the paint. Even right before the half, he had a nice drive yep. where he missed the layup, but this guy was able to follow it up with the tip dunk to end the half. Yeah, I think he's going to be really good for him. I, I agree. Yeah. And here you look at some of the gauchos on the bench, hoping for a better fate than they're going to have tonight. And Portland State's going to go to 2 0. And an offensive foul here, I think, or no. 
They're calling a block on Johnson. Yep. The Portland State bench erupted in jubilation, thinking that was an offensive uh, foul. The new emphasis again yeah, I guess so. is you must be both feet solid standing on the floor. It's going to be hard to get a charge if they call it like this every game. So the players will adjust, and they'll take them a couple of games, but they'll figure it out. The offensive player has the advantage now under this present uh, way it's being called. Botnett will come back in, and Cole Anderson goes to the bench with 21 points to lead UCSB. And Botnett on the one and one makes it. That was just the 17th foul on Portland State. This kid right here is going to be a player. Yes. The, yeah, more, the more reps he gets, yep. he's going he's to continue to get better. He's going to be great. His confidence is going to grow. Yep. And, and Gaucho fans are going to be very, very happy with him. You're right. No question about that. Orlando, you're right. And the that's going to do it. Portland State will run out yep. the clock. And the Gauchos are going to fall to 0 and 1. And that's it. 82-76, Portland State wins it. And so I think, uh, guys, I think the most frustrating thing is, is the turnovers tonight for UCSP. But Orlando, as Coach said, it's the first game of the year. And 